song you just heard, me and Bobby McGee, is on my new CD called Rocker. It's a double CD, kind of an anthology of my recording history for the past five decades. Okay. Anyway, uh, available on Amazon and all those other websites. But I have a kind of a personal story about Chris Christopherson. Uh, way back in uh, 1970, when I was playing bass for Ricky Nelson and the uh, Stone Canyon Band. We did the Johnny Cash show over there in Nashville at the Ryman Auditorium. Yep, the Grand Ole Opry. And one of the guests on the show was Chris Christopherson. I, I was with Ricky Nelson and June Carter was on, uh, Chet Atkins. Um, it was uh, quite a fun show to, to, to tape out there at the Ryman Auditorium. But during uh, the break, before we actually taped the show, uh, Chris Christopherson was walking up down the hallway in the dressing room area and he kept stopping at my door and giving me a little nod while he's playing guitar with his eyes closed. And finally, he, after about 20 minutes of this pacing up and down the hallway, he looked at me and said, hey, uh, do you mind if I come in? And uh, <laughs> I said, sure, come on in. So he introduced himself. He said, hi, I'm Chris Christopherson. And I said, hi, I'm Phil Fang Volk. Uh, I used to be with the Raiders, but now I'm with Ricky Nelson. He said, hey, I, 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 I need someone to help me out here. I, I want to play this song for someone. I've been working on it, and I hope that maybe I can do a duet with Johnny Cash with this song. They picked another song that I don't like as well, but I'm hoping they'll let me use this song. So he, uh, he started playing, and he played right up close to my face and my ear. Busted flat in Baton Rouge. Yeah, you, you got it. He sang the whole song to me, and I thought, wow, what great lyrics. Amazing. And uh, I said to him, you know, that was like watching a movie. The lyrics are so picturesque and colorful, and that's going to be a hit for someone someday. Well, that was 1970. A year later, it was a huge, I think, number one hit for Janis Joplin. So uh, I felt privileged to be part of that history of this song. 